So it's really interesting you saying that as well, like because I actually did that. Not, it was probably about three years ago, where I think it was an Evan Carmichael video, and and he, and uh, I don't know. I think it's one of his videos, but he sort of said to people, you know, you know, like Elon Musk seeks out real, radically honest feedback, right? So when I was first doing these hundred, you know, these videos where I was doing one every day, um, I wanted to, you know, early days when I was doing one a day. I, I actually did seek out someone who was not on board with coaching at all. Didn't think, don't believe in it. Don't believe, no, NLP does not work, none of it. And I thought, oh, and everyone come up with this, you know, ask someone, where do you, you know, where do you suck? I ask you, where are you terrible, right? And so I did seek their opinion. I said, to, I said to them, where is it that I'm absolutely, where do I suck? Or where is it that I'm absolutely terrible? And when you launch that vulnerability and seek out people that are opposed, but you sort of open up with vulnerability first to say, hey, where am I really, really bad? The first answer that came out of their mouth was, you're not, you're not that bad at all. It's just what I would change is this, or what I would change is that, which I thought was really brilliant. Almost like by opening up with that vulnerability, you know, usually if I say, oh, I think this is really great, I'm not going to say the name, they, they, they'll know who they are. This is really great, we should do this. You would just, they would just go, no, that's just terrible. They would then rebut with their view right but because i opened up and said where am i really bad or where do i suck it was like well you're not that bad this is but the, I, I would just i think one of the feedback of the videos like, can you put a like um can you put a like um a, a, a label on the video so people know what it's about and of course i do that a lot now on tiktok and i label the video so you know so people when they watch the video on the tiktok or whatever they can actually see oh this is about change or this is about vulnerability right so on TikTok, you'll see, I'll always put a little headline about what the video is about so people can just select which ones they are and those little bite-sized things. So when I do little clips of the podcast, that's what I put. So, so I learned from that the synergy of get the feedback. Oh, this is quite good. Try the feedback. And ever since then, look at what's happened. There's a lot of blowing up going on with these videos at the moment because they're actually on, on YouTube. Uh, we are getting loads of subs, especially on shorts. And the shorts are made of those little TikTok videos. Uh -huh.